We haven't got time for that. Come on, come on. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Carl Braxton to Tilly Ann Mason. If anyone here should know of any impediment why these two should not be joined in holy wedlock, let them speak now or forever hold their peace, Carl. Wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in Braxton health, and, Davidson report and forsaking to all other, keep thee only unto her. We're so standing at the live. altar. I, I will. Yeah. I repeat, Agent Davidson, Wilt immediately. Have this man who I waited husband alert. to live together okay. after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. You don't pay me enough for this. Wilt thou love her, keep him. In sickness and in health. Excuse me, Vicar. After Telling God's holy ordinance. Red alert, Carl. We gotta get now. Sorry, buddy. In the holy what? state of matrimony. Look, honey, I gotta go. I'm sorry. Oh, love him. Oh, you can't go now. Let me drink one. I know you can. 
you don't mean it, honey. I love you. Bye. Okay, let's go. Okay, Carl. Tell me what you know about Colonel Scarf Mulgrew. Scarf Mulgrew is an ex-British policeman who was jailed by the British for killing several men under interrogation. And he's mad. He's a sadist. He hates the British. But most of all, he hates Americans. Correct. And this is him. Now, we know for months that Mulgrew has been helping Sheikh Ali Maksu to train their assassins in an old British fort up in the mountains. And probably paying him several million a year for his favors. But lately, things have gotten much worse. It's been confirmed that those bastards are on the verge of creating a nuclear device small enough to fit into a suitcase to carry into New York. Holy shit. My sentiments exactly. Now hear this. Last week, the president sent in a secret Delta Force unit to wipe those bastards out. It was a king-size failure. We got these tapes an hour ago. Who are those guys? Ninja. That's the Japanese Red Faction Army. It's the best they've got. Along with the tapes, we got a message. All four prisoners will be burned alive a week from today, unless the United States pays a ransom of $50 million and releases all of God's freedom fighters. Oh, these guys are crazy. Right, now here's our problem. We only have a few days before the media gets a hold of this. Then all hell will break loose. The president will either be forced to pay the ransom or send in the B-2 bombers. When do I leave, Gavin? When do you both leave? Immediately. You'll parachute in before dawn. The local operative will meet you there. The password will be the Big Blue Wrecking Crew. We'll get the rest of your instructions there. Carl, would you excuse us for a moment, please? <clears throat> yeah, thank you. What the hell is going on, Gavin? Carl? Carl is not a field operative. You haven't read his file. I have. He came top of his class. A brilliant linguist, a superb marksman. He's the best trained operator we have. He's also a fantastic bowler, but this is not a game, Gavin. Those were ninja. Where did training get your Delta Force? He's the best we have available. What about Joe Armstrong? Joe? Joe's with the Peace Corps. His head is full of peace, love, and light. Do you recall, Gavin? I did. He cut me off. OK. Sean. Good luck. We're going to need it. Hey, Sean, we don't um, like it. 30 seconds to jump time! Line positions, man!
So where's our contact? This way. Hey, what was that? That could be him. Okay, that's far enough. Move like you was treading on eggs. Cause this thing is likely to go off if I get nervous. Capish? Capish? Okay, who the hell are you? We're the big blue wrecking crew. Hey, why the hell did you say so in the first place? Hi, I'm Pongo. Your contact. The llama's out back. It's air conditioned. I don't know. I think he's been watching too many movies or something. Yeah. Come on, get in. That's ridiculous. It's a new engine. That stupid hippo rust. No, it was one-eyed jacks with Marlon Brando and Carl Malden. And it was Cagney. Hey, who's your favorite actor? Who's your favorite actor? Hey, Marlon Brando's the boy, okay? I mean, look, I know the guy. He is smooth when he's acting. He so funny. Mold and his friends wipe out the best unit Delta Force can find. And G6 sends us two guys who look like... <laughs> That's what's funny, pal. Here you go. Throw these bombs out of here.
My apologies, gentlemen. I had to make sure you're the right people. Come with me. Family? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me give you a quick rundown of the situation. Here's a fort. Somewhere in the middle of that complex is the bomb-making facility and the dungeons holding the four Americans. It's almost impregnable, but not quite. All right, come through. All right, move down. Mulgren O'Reilly! Holy shit, Mulgren! If anything happens, head straight for Sulphur Springs. Ask for Dr. Tamba. He's the only one that can help you. Okay, Sulphur Springs, Dr. Tamba. They mustn't find you here. <laughs> Hello, Freddy. I want to get out How's my fat friend today, eh? Yeah. Huh? Where are those strangers you're hiding, Freddy, eh? I'm sorry, Colonel. I don't, don't know what strangers you're talking about. It's just me and the... Get out of here. You guys are right? Where the hell did he come from? Hey, look, I'm really sorry about... Come on, let's go. Okay, quick, this way. Hey, 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 listen, you take it. Just relax, I got a cover. Hi, Pongo. What's wrong? Mogra's men are after us. Okay. This way, quick. 
Come on! Where? What is this place? It's a mortuary. Inside. Is this what you do for a living? Inside. I hope they pay you well. Hey guys, get on the slab. Well, you gotta be kidding. No. Hurry, hurry. Kick it open, bloody idiots. Hi, you guys are come for the bodies. What bloody bodies? The bodies from Leopard Colony. They brought them out of yesterday's the autopsy. Leopard Colony, you say? Yeah. No, we're looking for two very dangerous-looking men. Seen any? No, not since I left Chicago. Go on, have a look around. Second thoughts, I think they went the other way. If you see them, put them police headquarters immediately. Okay, sure, no problem. Damn, that was close. I can't believe that worked. Guys, this is Sarah Pierce, Peace Corps. She saved my ass a dozen times. It doesn't do many. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Carl Braxton of CIA. In behalf of the Sarah, CIA... this is my buddy, Sean Davison. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sean. Thank you very much for what you've done today. We appreciate it. Well, guys, I guess we better go. Hey, where are you going? Sarah, look. I can't involve you in this any further. You've done enough. But I am involved. Mulgrew and his men will be after me. Look, I can take you as far as Sulphur Springs, and that's it. Okay? Okay. Okay, Pongo, which way is it to Sulphur Springs? That way. Come on, let's make some time. You're not exactly built for running, are you? Who are those bastards? More bloody Americans. British SAS, hmm? Or maybe slime from Sulphur Springs, hmm? What's the matter, gentlemen? Cat got your tongue. Please, Colonel, I, I don't know nothing. Now, don't you make me lose my bloody temper, you asshole! Please, Colonel, none of us ever saw them before. If we had, we would have told you. I swear! This is all such a bore. You know, I like you. I really, really like you. Look, 
I'll give you 500 Rolottis and let you go if you tell me who those men were. The demons sent from hell to get you. But tell my friend the devil I'm not ready to come home yet. Have a nice day. Gun if you have to. What do you mean, disappeared? I tracked him down to the hospital mortuary in King Street. Made a thorough search of the whole place, top to bottom. No sign of anyone except that American Peace Corps female. Yes. Well, she obviously took him out the back way, you little prick. I should have killed her when I killed her father. Now, look, you get your skinny ass onto the street and find him immediately, you understand?
my dear Scar, what concerns you? It's a problem. I think the Americans have infiltrated two more of their damned assassins. Why so worried, my dear friend? Have we not always dealt the pigs a mortal blow every time our paths have crossed? Yes, there is something that worries me about these two. I think you should execute the prisoners immediately and make arrangements to have the bomb transferred to Beirut as soon as you can. My dear Scarf, you are far too impetuous. Yummy! as if they were almost proud to die at my command. I always try to impress upon my people that to die in holy battle is a passport to heaven. You always were full of shit, Ali. Are these the Americans of whom you spoke? I told you, my dear Scarf, you worry too much. Watch. <laughs> Thug. I'm going 
going to teach you a lesson you'll never forget as long as you live. Which I'm happy to say won't be very long. Carry out the executions in 48 hours. I will inform the American ambassador at President Bender's reception this evening. You always did have a sense of the dramatic, Ali. So, gentlemen, what are your names and what are you doing here? These other animals once thought they were superior to us, mere mortals, until I gave them a lesson in the folly of false pride. Watch. Lick my shoe. Gentlemen, one more time. What are your names and what are you doing here? Very well, gentlemen. This will be your first lesson in blind obedience. Okay, today's lesson is going to be about environment. And by or meant. What is environment? Our surroundings, everything around us, okay? And I want you to go outside and find an example of our environment. When you come back, we'll discuss it, okay? Okay. 
told you last time it was the last time. Joe, you already know what happened to Delta Force. Well, we sent in two agents. They've both been captured. They're going to be executed. One of them is your friend, Sean. Everything you need to know is right here. In case you change your mind. We need you, Joe. What's the purpose of your visa, Mr. Armstrong? Holiday. Profession? Teacher. Have a nice day. Thank you. All passengers departing from flight 417 may pick up your baggage at carousel 6. Joe Armstrong? Where to, man? Sulphur Springs. Okay, quick, get in. Am I glad to meet you? Hi, Pongo. Let's get out of here. my story. You know, you got a hell of a nerve, Joe, coming here. Sean and Carl couldn't even handle these guys. Seems like nobody can. The guys might even be dead. Even Sarah. Who's Sarah? American nurse, working with a Peace Corps. She was helping us out, but got captured with the others. Tell me more about Sulphur Springs. Well, Sulphur Springs used to be a penal colony. But after Bender became president, the prisoners took over. And now I've lived there ever since. Nowadays, it's a rallying point for everyone who's pissed off with Mulgrew and his rats. Why hasn't Mulgrew and his men blown it up? <laughs> they tried a while back, but got a good kick up the ass. That was before the ninjas arrived, of course. Who's this guy, Tomba? Tomba, well, he was the prison doctor. Now he runs the joint. You know, if you can get Tomba and his guys to help you, there's a good chance you can do what they've been trying to do. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Let go! 
And that's Joe Armstrong. What do you want? A guy named Tomba. Yeah? Never heard of him. Hey, well, Fat Freddy said he lived here and could use some good men. Good men? <laughs> <laughs> This way. Looking for good men, yeah? Mr. Armstrong, why don't you show us how good you are? You ain't seen nothing yet. He'll take all three on at the same time. That's a big boast, Mr. Armstrong. The three of us. Yeah, all three. We're not here to fight. <laughs> We need men like him. Very impressive, Mr. Armstrong. Welcome to Sulphur Springs. <laughs> <laughs> Come up here.
I'm Dr. Tamba. Joe Armstrong. Paul Freddy told Pongo about me. Yeah, he said you're the only guy who could help us. How can I help you? Well, we're here to rescue the Americans from God's executioners. So if you can get us to the Dragon Fort and make as many diversions as possible, we may have a chance. Uh, getting into the fort is supposed to be impossible. Yeah, but there may just be a way. Many years ago, the British dug ammunition tunnels underneath the fort. These were flooded when the Dragon River overflowed. Over 200 British troops were drowned. The engineers dug in from the other side of the mountain to release the water. Everybody thinks that these tunnels were dynamited shut. But we think maybe they missed one. All the engineering plans are kept at the Civic Center. President Bende is holding a, a reception there for the Third World Finance Ministers. Perhaps we could all go as uninvited guests, hmm? Mr. President, my government has instructed me to inform you that unless Sheikh Ali Maksud and his associates release the hostages immediately, I won't believe my eyes. Mr. President, who invited that scum? You were saying, Mr. Ambassador. I was referring to you and your associates as Scum, sir. Ah, yes. A popular American expression when referring to other places. Just a moment, Mr. Ambassador. We have something very important to tell you. Oh, is that so? What do you want? Somewhere quieter, perhaps. After you. O'Reilly, keep an eye on things. Sir, hold this. that we have captured another two of your adventurers and an American nurse. They will be executed with the other scum. What do you mean the others, you pig? Oh, yes. We also wish to tell you we have moved the execution forward. It will now take place tomorrow morning. Remember, it's the basement, 1959 to 45, OK? downstairs and I'd like you to come. Confessions! Excuse me, you're You are under arrest. No, no, my son. <coughs> Thank you.
not one hair on one of those men's heads. And I will personally see that this place is disintegrated. Then New York will quickly follow suit, Mr. Ambassador. <laughs> you bastards. Oh, you're such a rat sometimes, Ali. <laughs> What's that? What the hell are you doing down there, O'Reilly? Bloody priests! What bloody priests? I assure you, he's a priest. He's holding confession downstairs in the basement. Are you mad? There are no bloody priests. I shot them all months ago. Can get in here through the cliff sluice gate. They didn't think anyone would be crazy enough to try and climb up there. killed my father. I know he's gonna kill us. Yeah, I never thought I was gonna end like this. I do not like it, Scarf. Why did they want the plans of the fort? To find another bloody way in, of course. Mecca is that way, old chap. Anyway, there isn't one. Trust me. What are your plans, Ali? The helicopter will arrive tomorrow to collect the bomb. If necessary, we can leave with it. I'm going to bed. Wake me in the morning.
people of Sulphur Springs, we have a mission. We must fight for our freedom. Yeah! With the help of the American, who has proved himself to be our friend and our equal, we must finally rid ourselves of the powers of darkness. Pambili! Who is? Sulphur Springs. Well, cut the slime down like dogs and no mercy, do you understand? I don't know the meaning of the word, Your Honor. You are early, Scott. Something's up. See the prisoners. by the hand of Allah to bring the great Satan to his knees. <laughs> well, why the hell did you do that, old chap? It fills me with ecstasy. To think that I was just one second away from meeting Allah. Is there another way into this lab? No. Good. Tell the ninjas to take on guard and uh, tell them to keep their hands off the bloody bomb. about this, Sean. It's not over yet.
noise coming from? From the old ammunition tunnels underneath, I think. The old ammunition tunnels? Bloody hell, they're coming through the old ammo tunnels! That's why they wanted the engineering plans. I must be going bloody senile! Oh, my God! Sound the alarm! Move the bomb to the helicopter immediately and proceed with the executions. The rest of you, get down there and kill! Exquisitely dangerous, yes, Treat it with care. It has enough power to blow New York off the face of the go. earth. I'll go with you. Hold you. Let's go. Yeah! yeah. 
Last night, I heard a jackal scream in the mountains. It was an omen sent to me by Allah to tell me that I have been too merciful. So my children, because the great Satan has not fulfilled the just demands with it, Ali. Let the execution begin. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Kill the cowards! Kill the unbelievers!
bloody ones are all the same. A bunch of incompetents, the whole bloody larrier. Oh, that's a friend of mine. He's not much for words, but he comes through at the end.
Sean. You can find me at the school. <laughs>